So welcome back to this video. This video will see what this MAC flooding attack is. So to understand this, I'll get some devices, one switch and three PCs. Okay. So I'll make a scenario. Let's say this is an attacker. Okay. What he will do? He will generate so many MAC addresses and he will start sending requests to this switch. So what this switch will do each time it receives the request, it will learn its MAC addresses. Different different MAC addresses he will learn, this switch will learn. Then what happens is this switch's MAC table will reach its capacity. Meaning it will not be able to learn any more MAC address because it has reached its capacity this is MAC flooding and the motive of this attacker is exactly that okay he will generate so many MAC addresses I will try to talk with the switch each time it receives the request it will learn that particular MAC address and after so many MAC addresses learned it will reach its capacity then it will not be able to learn any more MAC addresses and also what happens now is this switch will change its behavior also. It will start behaving like a hub. So what happens now? This guy, this attacker knows the topology. He knows there are two PCs connected to this network. He will try to ping one of these PCs. You know, it will go to the switch. Switch simply broadcast, right? He doesn't know who this guy is and because it's acting like a hub and hub that's what it does he, he just always broadcast and it will come to both of these pc and this guy says it's for him he will reply and the hub or the switch will give it back to the attacker this is mac flooding attack in a nutshell so how can we prevent this the solution is actually very simple Let's say this attacker port is F01. This one is F01. Okay. What we need to do, since we have two PCs, we need to limit the number of MAC addresses learned at this port. So we need to limit it to two because we have two PCs. So after two, the third one, the switch should shut down this port so that this attacker will not be keep on sending more requests for the switch to learn more MAC addresses. So after two, the switch will shut down its port. We have two other options also either to protect or restrict. But in this example, we'll just say shut down and we'll see how that can be done in the configuration. So what we can do now, before everything, I will just learn all these PCs MAC addresses. Let's put uh, the IP address also, 192.1.1 and go to command prompt, IP config slash all. Then only you will get the MAC address because IP config by itself will not show any MAC address information. Here you can see the physical address. Okay, this is the MAC address. 3AB4. Copy this. I'll put it over here. Paste. We'll do the same thing with this one. The IP address. Command prompt. pconfig slash or get this guy's physical address physical address just mean MAC address or same thing okay go here paste go, same thing here One nine two dot one six eight one dot three. command prompt pconfig all and here this is the mac address for this pc i'll 
okay and we'll know why I did this okay when we actually configure the switch we'll come to know why I put it like this now we'll go to actually we'll connect this uh, F01 okay I'll go to this F01 interface interface F01 now I need to make this port access port switch port uh, switch port mode access next step I need to enable port security so the command is very simple switch port port security that's it third step this is where we need to limit the number of MAC addresses received at its port so we need to say switch port port security maximum so we say we have three devices here so we just simply put three now fourth step after three attempts the from the fourth one what the switch should do with this port that's the next command switch port port security violation violation okay now if I put a question mark we have three options protect restrict and shut down uh, we will use shutdown in this example but protect again um, it just after three the fourth one it will not receive any more MAC addresses pretty much that's it with protect it will not generate any syslog messages syslog messages is simply uh, logs that send to the administrator network administrator that is so that he or she they are aware of the situation but protect it will not do it it will just stop learning MAC address or just keep on dropping after uh, three MAC addresses land so from the fourth one it will start dropping packet restrict they are the same thing protect and restrict they are almost the same but the only difference is restrict would also generate syslog messages and send it to the administrator same thing for shutdown it will generate syslog messages and send it to the shutdown but shutdown just like what it says it will shut down that port from the fourth one these two they don't shut down the port they'll just drop the packet so in this example we'll just use shutdown okay shutdown now we have one more step we need to make this switch learn these MAC addresses dynamically okay uh, if we do it uh, statically then it will take a lot of time uh, we wouldn't want to do that in the real world nobody does it so we will need to make this switch learn this MAC addresses dynamically so what we need to say switch port port security MAC address if I put a question mark HHH is static sticky is dynamic this way what I need to do I need to go to the each PC run the IP config slash all command copy the MAC address and paste it here one by one so we don't want to do that so I'll just say sticky now we are done with all the configuration done with all the configuration so what I'll do this switch will not start learning MAC addresses immediately I'll show you exit exit show run and you can see there is nothing here that means it hasn't learned any MAC addresses yet what we need to do is we need to generate some traffic so ping 192 I know it's not connected or anything it's just for the this has an IP address so it will try to ping our motive is to generate some traffic it doesn't matter if ping or not okay so now we have generated some traffic now if I go back to the switch and run the same command show run now you can see 
we have the MAC address here. Same thing here. Same thing here, right? 0, 0, D0, D3, BD, 3A, B4. You can see we have the same address. So that means this switch has learned this MAC address of this PC. Now what I'll do, I'll just remove this line and I'll connect this PC. Fast forward it. It's the same F01, okay, that same port. So, what I'll do is I need to generate some traffic again. Ping 192.168.1.1 and I'll go back to this switch and run the same show run command. And you can see now we have the next MAC address which is b059 this one okay b059 this is b059 now what i'll do remove this connect the next one try to ping again to generate some traffic ping 192.168.1.1 Go back to this switch, show run, and it should also learn the MAC address now. And you can see here, where is it? This 4C E2, 4C E2, all three PCs MAC addresses now in its MAC table. The switch has learned all three PCs MAC addresses, and they are also in the MAC table now. Now, what happens? This is the maximum, right? We said maximum 3. The switch has learned 3. Now, if I try to connect one more PC, uh, let's say now attacker. We have the attacker now. Let me see. Now, I'll take one more laptop and let's say this is the attacker okay he will now try to connect to that port he sees that it's open he will now try to connect to it so let me connect it let me put a IP address here 192.168.1.1 dot one six eight dot one dot four and uh, go to command prompt get its MAC address IP config slash all MAC address here is this one okay now I'll connect this. Now I'll generate some traffic. Ping 192.168.1.1. You can immediately see this port has been shut down. Because it was the fourth one, the attacker sent some packet and at that time the switch cannot learn any more MAC address which means it has shut down this port so our configuration is fully working it's just like what we told the switch the switch is exactly responding what we have configured so this is how we can prevent MAC flooding attack okay now what I'll do is I'll just remove this okay now the let's say an employee he wants to connect but it will not immediately make this port 
enabled what I need to do is go to the switch I need to say interface F01 okay, enable configure terminal interface F01 shut or no shut and now it's back so this is how you would prevent this type of attack, microlending attack. Hopefully you understood the concept. Okay. So depending upon the devices, you can set the maximum value and uh, how you want to make the switch respond after it has reached the maximum value, whether it's shut down or restrict or protect. So in this example, we went with shutdown and you saw what happens. So hopefully you guys are understood the concept if you have any questions you can ask me down below and uh, if you are enjoying it and getting the concepts give please give me a thumbs up the next video we'll see some other concept until then stay tuned thank you and good day